Minimalism, money, ADHD. This is Sugar Mama TV. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. I am financial planner, Canna Campbell. Recently, I was diagnosed with ADHD. It took a lot of courage, an even bigger amount of encouragement, a lot of faith and trust to finally put my hand up and get some professional help. And the moment I did, I felt a huge sense of relief. Now, today's video, I wanted to share with you how I manage my personal finances as a financial planner, as a minimalist, and as someone who suffers from ADHD with a very busy, creative, easily distracted, overwhelmed, and sometimes slightly crazy brain like mine. Now, before we begin, I need to remind you that this is not personal advice. It's for general advice only and for your financial education. It's not strategic advice, investment advice, or product advice. So please bear that in mind. Also, what I do with my personal finances always comes back to the approach and element of simplicity. You see, the easier it is to understand my finances, the more compartmentalized it is. The easier it is to understand where I stand financially, understand what my financial responsibilities are, what my financial priorities are, and then that creates the space to allow a huge amount of motivation, inspiration, and empowerment to continue on building great financial freedom in my life, which is something I really, really value, financial harmony and well-being. So this is what I do. Number one, I do not have any duplicates in my life. The space in my brain is very precious, so there is no space to have multiple things going on. So I have one superannuation account. I have one credit card. And that way I can quickly and easily access where my superannuation money is, how it is being invested, how it's growing, how it's performing, and how it is working back towards supporting my financial goals journey. I don't have any accounts floating around in cyberspace. I don't need to worry about losing login details because I only have one to have to worry about. And at all times, I know that has been set up correctly and it's working towards me. I can quickly and easily check all my transactions, my fees, and of course my returns. And to be honest, if I had duplicates in my life, I would very easily feel very overwhelmed, confused, and quite possibly just throw the towel in because it just felt too hard. But not when I only have to worry about one of each because there are no duplicates in my personal finances. The second principle that I apply and again comes back to simplicity is I have all of my personal finances with the one financial institution. That way, when I log on to my internet banking, whether it be on my phone or whether it be on my desktop, I can see all of my accounts and my loan accounts quarantined within the one screen. I know exactly where I stand at that exact point. And if I ever need to worry about wiring money and transferring money to each account, that transfer is immediate and I can see it there immediately and not need to worry about it any longer. The problem with having multiple different accounts with different institutions is for an ADHD brain, you're logging in and out of apps. You've got to remember different login details. You've got to remember where you transfer the money and be concentrating it went to the right account. And then quite often you've got to remember to check the next day to make sure that the money went into the right account and it's there for you. So for me, having all of my personal accounts and loans with the one institution makes life so much easier for me. I will also disclose that I have my business accounts with a separate financial institution. And again, this comes back to that idea and principle of simplicity and compartmentalizing. You see, by having all my business accounts with one institution, it's separated and away from my personal spending. I never need to worry about mixing the two and having to repay money and creating a bit of a tax situation or problem for myself. They're completely separate. Also removing any distractions or temptations to take money out from where it shouldn't be. The third principle that I apply again is simplicity and that is one of each. For example, I have one superannuation account. As I said, I have one credit card and I also have one life insurance policy. I have one TPD insurance policy. I have one income protection policy and I have one trauma policy. There are no or none of these 
like ad hoc, weird, irrelevant accidental death policies or special types of funny insurances that are linked to different cards or policies. It's very, very simple as to what I have. And again, no duplicates, but it's just one of those. If I ever need to make a claim, I know exactly where I need to go to meet that claim. Also, I have that simplicity and clarity of knowing exactly how much cover I have in place, how much I'm paying, and exactly what I'm really covered for. Which also gives me great peace of mind and helps calm my brain. The fourth rule that I apply is I keep it simple with my financial goals. As an ADHD brain, I can often be over inspired and just my motivation levels can kind of just go through the roof. And that's when I can catch myself making a crazy list with so many different financial goals. I really try and simplify my financial goals to no more than five. And also the moment I achieve one goal, I avoid the temptation with as much self-control as possible to add a new goal. Instead, I will simply channel all my newfound freed up resources to the remaining goals that stay on that list. And I will work through that list until I've achieved all of those goals. The other important idea that I apply to these goals is I have one key big goal. And then the other goals surround to support that big goal. Now by having this one key big goal, which for me is focused around building my long-term growing passive income stream, that is my mindful money number, really helps connect me with my value system. It gives me a great sense of perspective focus. It really squashes any distractions or temptations that come my way because I just come back to that one key important goal in my life. And it also acts as an anchor for me in my life. Whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed, flat, deflated, or just simply confused, I can always remind myself of that one big financial goal and just focus all my energy towards that. And no matter what happens, I know that I'm still progressing in the right direction towards financial well-being and independence. And the fifth rule that I apply to my financial well-being with a, as a minimalist, with an ADHD brain, and as a financial planner, and this is really important, is I track my progress on a regular basis. I check my budget. I check my savings accounts, in particular, my emergency savings. I also check my superannuation accounts to make sure the contributions are going in correctly. And of course, that that money is always being invested in alignment to my risk profile. I'll also check that my insurance policies are always in force, the premium that I'm paying, and of course, the level of cover that I have in place. And then of course, I will always check the progress of my mindful money number. That is how much passive income have I grown so far and how close I am to tracking towards achieving my big financial goal and dream, which is a growing passive income stream of $200,000 a year. Now, the really cool thing about this is it's very motivating and engaging for my finances. When I see that I'm one step closer and I feel a sense of comfort and security knowing that my personal finances are actually structured in the right way, they're easy to understand and they're easy to engage with, it creates great space for me to continue on working towards my financial well-being, going from strength to strength. I never get distracted, I never procrastinate, I rarely feel overwhelmed and I feel a great sense of security, faith and even confidence because I know what's going on. I know my responsibilities, my priorities and what is important to me. So for anyone out there who's struggling with their own personal finances, working out where they need to start, what they need to be doing and how they need to add an element of simplicity and efficiency in the way that they manage their money, I really hope these principles help you and that you too can find a sense of tranquility and financial harmony in a very busy, overstimulated, hectic, dynamic world that we all live in. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This is Sugar Mama TV. Please make sure you're subscribed. And of course, you are listening to both my podcasts, Monday morning, Sugar Mama's Fireplay, and Wednesday morning, How Do They Afford That? with Michael Thompson from Fear and Greed. Thank you, everyone. Have a great week ahead. And of course, I promise to make a podcast for you, sharing with you more into the story behind my ADHD diagnosis. Ciao for now.